Dirk, huge congratulations into the quarterfinals here. Just sum up your performance for us against Aragoni. Change your sentences, mate. It's always <laughs> the same. To sum up the performance, um, I think Daryl underperformed today and I was a bit nervous. I could have made this easier, but I didn't. But in the end, I think it was still a comfortable win. You seem to really enjoy the battle up there. We saw you celebrating again and really enjoying yourself on the stage. Is that the first time you felt comfortable for a long time? Yeah, but normally I would have done the same on the first day. But you just know if you play someone from the home crowd, you shouldn't be cheering too loud. Because that will get the crowd going against you. So then you just uh, hold back. Now into the quarterfinals, the first time in a TV quarterfinal since January 23. It's been a long time, we know you've gone through absolute hell with the injury, but now can you enjoy this situation tomorrow, being at the final day? But I don't think about these things. There's a reason I wasn't there, so I wouldn't think about those things. But looking at the, looking at the draw, you or Luke Woodhouse, it's a big opportunity for, for both of you. How do you approach that game? To now saying I'm not good as well for him. Because no, so I think I feel like all Dirk is coming back, and it's different. Congratulations! Thank you for what? Dirk. Calling me an outsider. <laughs> Thanks for calling me outsider. Dirk, this is a really important part of the year now. So how important is this run to give you? Is it German? No, no, English. Call it English. I'm English. You said this is it feel more like a German. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was ready to speak German. <laughs> yeah, that'd be wasted on me. <laughs> How important is this job, considering it's such an important part of the year going forward now? What's important? It's, it's an important time of the year with, with so many big events. So How important is making the quarterfinals here and maybe more? I don't think it's important. Do you just treat every game, no matter what time of year, as the exact same? Yeah. Because I think um, playing well is more important than the event. And it, because if you play well, you will always perform. And I mean, losing today was 15k. Winning an event is 15k on the floor. Perform well, you win events on the floor. It's the same like this. And it, People underestimate the Pro Tour, how much that can do on your rankings. You can make, I think last year I was on 120, 150 on the floor. Before the match play started, if you do well, you don't even need to, need, you don't even need to win TV events. Ian White, without respect, disrespecting him on, the, on TV, he wasn't good on TV, but he was top eight player because he was that good on the floor. People underestimate this. And you, you mentioned there that people can underestimate certain people, so I'm, I'm assuming that there's going to be no underestimation from you. Like Phil said, some people may look at Luke Woodhouse and see that as, as an opportunity. No, no, no. He said for both. Okay. So that's saying that I'm not as good as well at the moment as well. So that's fine. But you, you don't see that. You, you have the belief that you can go on. If you talk about underestimating, you're underestimating. I don't underestimate anyone because I don't care what they do. I want to play on a five every game, on a ten. Most of the time, it doesn't work out. But that's what I'm aiming for, because if you hit those standards and you lose, the other one was better. If you don't hit the standards, and I know I can do that every, well, I, I won't do 110 every game. I know I can hit 100 average every game. If I don't do that, it's only me to blame if I lose. Well, Why would I look at an opponent? Well, Dirk, well done on the win today, thank you. Yeah, it's good. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kevin. Yeah. Same escape. Yep. Did that one have the discussion there? Dirk, you finished off the game uh, in 13, 13 and 14 darts. Um, what, what made you have well, a good finish there after you also said you, you have been nervous and it was going up and down and so on? Is that a question? Yeah, what, what, made you, what, made me fi what made you finish off that well? I mean, it was... It's not that well, I'm on 12 you doctors. Were up, you were up three legs, he was no, coming back at you, and then you had that spell in the I other I don't know, I um, I felt nervous, um, but even when, when you're nervous, you can play well, and at some point, I felt okay. I, I wasn't saying that I lost all my nerves, but I felt okay, and then 
then I found my focus and I felt like I could hit a 140, 180 every throw. And I think in the end, when I reached that, that zone where you have this focus, I felt like I could hit a 140, 180 every throw. And that's probably why I played better in the end. Can I ask you about your injury? What, what is no. That? What is that from that? No? Um. <laughs> no, this is a joke. <laughs> No, but you ask me, can I ask you? And then, uh, I mean, I I no. to and then you, me. before I answer, you already asked the question. <laughs> That's a joke. Um, yeah, it's not done. It's not done. It might take another year. It might take another two years. I might not fully recover. Um, but at this moment, I feel it doesn't bother me this much. Um, but when we have this month, September, was very busy during the week, in the weekend, during the week, in the weekend, during the week, in the weekend. And then at the end, I felt the muscles are not done yet. Uh, they're not completely recovered. Um, but yeah, so I got one device where I practice with every day. I tried every day that I'm at home. Cost a lot of money that device, but uh, at the moment it's on rent or a bit uh, they're helping me because I had to travel two hours a day and I did this for three months or four months every day two hours traveling uh, half an hour with this device but now I got it at home it's an expensive device but I might consider buying it um, for the future because I think I need it you were talking about uh, how important the floor is games on the floor. Um, were, was there a moment in the last well, few weeks, few months, where you're just feeling like, okay, uh, it's coming back? I've seen yeah. you uh, yeah, yeah. at a 108 average or 110, uh, 110, something like that. I think in the last, uh, the last two tournaments I should have won one, but in the end I miss out. Uh, I think the semi-final was my worst game of the day and still uh, was the first with two match starts before he had a match start. So, yeah, um, considering that was my worst game, and you still have two match starts before he has his first, it felt like this should have been my tournament. But it gives me confidence that my lower average is is 95 again, where my lower average a year ago was like could have been everything around 80 or lower, maybe I don't know. Um, yeah, so you feel you feel that if you're not playing well, you're still playing 95. That gives you good confidence. Any targets for the rest of the season? Um, win as much as possible. I don't have really targets because I think this is kind of a lost year, and everything I do now, from now till uh, the Worlds, that's a bonus. But um, for me, this year is is a nice year in 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 terms of preparation for the Worlds, because normally I would have expectations for the Grand Prix, for the Europeans, maybe for the Grand Slam, for the Play Championship Finals, and now there's zero expectations, but you want to do well in the world, so you're already, I'm already preparing for the Worlds, not, not for every other event anymore. Thanks a lot, good luck. And thank you, mate. <laughs>